work-related exhaustion in nurses has been highlighted as a concern to their health and the safety of their patients. Nurses have a high prevalence of preceding mental health issues, which can conflictingly influence patient care quality. Ensuring safe and high quality care should remain a top priority for nurses. Bedside nurses in COVID-19 wards may experience significant stress and the increased workload may compromise their health and the quality of care they provide. Nurses expect governments, policymakers, and nursing organizations to assist them during and after a pandemic. Without this, nurses are more prone to have significant psychological difficulties. Good day, clinical instructors, fellow student nurses, and viewers. We are the Group 3B of BSN3C presenting our research, which is entitled Lived Experiences of Nurses in the Delivery of Quality Healthcare During the COVID-19 Pandemic. My name is Gian Sancho, and together with me are my group mates, Pamela Rasmo, Regine Rubino, Zaira Shah, and Daniel Singson. We, the researchers, aim to explore the lived experiences of nurses in providing quality healthcare during the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a qualitative phenomenological research that aimed to understand the nurses' perspective and give meaning to their lived experiences. A phenomenological approach of qualitative research design was utilized and conducted through an in-depth interview using a semi-structured interview guide with open-ended queries. The researchers chose this kind of research design in exploring and investigating the nurses' lived experiences working in government and non-government institutions and delivering quality healthcare to their patients amid the pandemic as aimed. It provided a research environment in which participants can express individual narratives, as well as provide researchers with a variety of perspectives and ideas on a given issue. The various experiences of each nurse from public and private hospitals and municipal health were analyzed and evaluated using the Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis, or IPA. The participants were chosen by using a non-probability purposive sampling technique, and the researchers arrived at a sample size of six participants. They were chosen according to the years of their working experience as licensed nurses in Nagros Occidental, having been employed as nurses pre-pandemic, and their institutional affiliation. Those who were not willing to participate were excluded. The participants were given pseudonyms to conform to their privacy and anonymity. Participants were male and female with an age range from 28 to 35 years old. For the results, there are a total of five themes. Beginning with theme one, changes in protocols are tough. The findings of the study revealed that the nurses perceive these changes in protocols as an essential means of safeguarding themselves from the virus. However, it has dramatically hindered them in providing quality healthcare. Following the changes in protocols and inability to provide prompt and quality healthcare, nurses expressed that this has posed negative emotions such as frustration and distress on their end. For theme two, barriers faced by nurses, the findings of the study revealed that hospital nurses were burned out and understaffed prior to the first wave of COVID-19 cases. Due to a lack of manpower, nurses were forced to work extra hours and work longer shifts. Non-compliance of patients may endanger public safety and contribute in the spread of illness. For theme three, impacts on the well-being of nurses, nurses reported experiencing affected well-being. They had emotionally struggled with uncertainty, fear, stigma, and workload, physically contracted COVID-19 virus, spiritually strengthened religious faith, and intellectually developed innovation. Yet, it is significant to identify a key structure that illustrates nurses' health in confronting emerging challenges sustained, mental information comprehension. They were found to process information well and bundle their care tasks relevant to the needs of the patients, despite their workload and increasing demand. Moving on to theme four, adaptive measures to maintain competency. Nurses continue to seek to foster strategies both collaboratively and independently to assure their competence in their field of work. Despite workplace challenges, having a sense of support system within health teams allows nurses to push through and carry out their roles competently. The same can be said about having good health practices to maintain a strong immune system, which serves as a first line of protection against the virus, while also guaranteeing that they cater to patients without great compromise. Lastly, theme five, nursing as a fulfilling profession. 
The findings reveal that nurses' positive attitudes have allowed them to be more flexible and adaptable to new changes with quality healthcare delivery and safety as primary priorities. In addition, nursing as a profession amidst the COVID-19 pandemic has been an experience wherein nurses feel fulfilled and satisfied. Though limitations arise affecting their approaches to delivering quality healthcare due to COVID-19 protocols, nurses are revealed to be adaptive as they find alternatives and stay optimistic to ensure patients receive the proper care they deserve. This has proven their adaptability, making their journey meaningful. In conclusion, it is already given that the pandemic was one of the toughest times for the medical professionals. It has also presented nurses with countless obstacles in providing healthcare to patients which hampered the provision of quality care. Nurses face a variety of challenges, including protocol changes, patients' non-compliance with adequate health procedures, understaffing, and ambiguity regarding patient status. All of this rendered nurses unable to offer treatment in an emergency, helpless, and exhausted from overwork. They were also known to have COVID-19 pandemic impacts on the physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual element, though their mental health remained unaffected among the five facets of well-being. As a result, the pandemic tended to be a positive influence rather than negative, despite unfavorable events. It is also highlighted that it provided nurses with another opportunity to develop their adaptability to the rigors of their profession, as they were able to maintain their competence by using both intra- and interpersonal abilities. Given the risks associated with delivering care during the COVID-19 outbreak, they have proven their capability, making them proud of their work since it was regarded as significant, recognized, and valued. Hence, during the COVID-19 pandemic, nurses found nursing a pleasant and satisfying profession. The following are the recommendations that are put together with the results of the study. The Department of Health officials that they may utilize studies findings as a reference in formulating national strategies, technical standards, and health guidelines to ensure preparedness and assist nurses before, during, and after any health crisis. The hospital administrators provide additional support and protection to nurses by providing quality PPEs, quarantine facilities, and other necessities as they continue to deal with different patients and be at risk of contracting the virus. To the nursing administrators, conducting up-to-date conferences and training is further urged, and evaluating programs to assess effectiveness is necessary. The College of Nursing Administrators provide resilient development training to enable student nurses to initiate adaptive skills and mindset needed in unprecedented situations they may face in a working environment. To the clinical instructors, to enlighten student nurses on the actual workplace scenario, especially with the new protocol changes. To nurses, facilitate communication among colleagues, resolve team disagreements, expand the team to include other areas of expertise, clarify roles and responsibilities, and encourage other team members. To the student nurses, develop resilience and strengthen their coping skills as they enter the profession. And lastly, the future researchers, they may delve more into the elements that influence nurses' capacity to provide quality care as well as their concerns and demands of their job. Thank you for actively listening to our research entitled Lived Experiences of Nurses in the Delivery of Quality Healthcare During the COVID-19 Pandemic.